Hello guys, this is Amos Doll Music, and in today's lesson, I'm gonna teach you how to play the song called Chatelet. It's also known as that, you remember that frog, the Pepe frog, or the Peep? I, I actually don't even know how to pronounce it properly, the Pepe frog. Anyways, that song that plays, okay? So check it out, give you a preview of what you can learn. There's two sections that you can learn today's lesson. It goes like this, okay? The first section is this part. It goes like this, let me see, okay? section and the other section is the chorus section that goes like check it out give you a preview right now as well so it goes like this okay okay so that's that Okay, let's go ahead and learn these two sections. So first of all, obviously we've learned the first section first, so here we go. Let's break it up to parts and learn it. So let's break up this um, first section into how many parts? Let me see. Okay, we'll break it up into four parts so it's easier to learn. So the first part goes like this, right hand starts on the E here. So middle C is here for reference, start on the E here, it goes E up to C, B, A, G, A, down to E. And that is the first part, okay? Okay, one more time for this first part. So the right hand goes E, C, B, A, G, A, E. And that's the right hand for this first part, okay? Once you get that left hand for this first part, we have one chord here. The one chord is A minor, which is A, C, E. Fully white note uh, chord, okay? So yeah, with that A minor in mind, the two hands together goes like this. Right hand starts with the E, and then the C and A minor together. And that is the first part. One more time for this first part, so it goes like this. Let's get up. Just like that, okay? And that's that. Moving on to the second part, okay? The second part is actually really easy because the right hand is actually exactly the same as the first part, this. And just the difference is the left hand, instead of A minor chord, this time for the second part, we have D minor chord, which is D, F, A, okay? So that's the only difference, okay? Otherwise, it's pretty much the same, like this. Let's get up. Like that. So that's the second part. It's important to learn these patterns because it allows you to learn stuff a lot quicker by knowing that the right hand is exactly the same as the first part with the difference being the left hand instead of A minor is D minor. So remember that. So that's the second part. Like that. Okay, so back to back, the two parts we've learned so far, we play like this, goes like this. As you can see, we're doing the block chord and melody first, okay? At the end, I'll tell you what you can do to apply the patterns, the accompaniment pattern to make it what I did in the preview. But anyway, yeah, that's the first two parts ready. Let's move on to the third part of this section, right hand. It goes like this. It goes F up to D, back down to F, up to C, B, and repeat those five notes again. Like that. So essentially, there's ten notes, but it's actually five notes played twice, okay? So like this. It goes F, D, F, C, B. F, D, F, C, B, like that. And that is the third part of this section, okay? Like that. Like that. So that's that for the right hand. Left hand, we have one chord here. The one chord is G major, which is G, B, D, okay? So with that G major in mind, the two hands together goes like this. Right hand starts with the F, and then D and G major together. Like that, okay? And then, uh, yeah, one more time. Okay, so that's the third part. So back to back, the three parts we've learned so far will be play like this, check it out. Like that. Moving on to the fourth and last part of this section, right hand continues, it goes E up to C, B, A, G, A. And that is the right hand for the fourth part. One more time for this right hand for the fourth part, so it goes like this, E, C, B, A, G, A. And that's that for the right hand. Left hand, we have three chords here finishing off this section. The three chords are A minor, which is A, C, E, and then just F major, F, A, C, and G major, which is G, B, D, as passing chords, those last two chords, okay? So yeah, remember, it's A minor followed by F major and G major. Good thing that all of these chords are like pretty much 
all of them are fully white notes, okay? So it's easier to remember. All of the chords are just like in this pattern of white notes, okay? So yeah, with that in mind, the three chords for this fourth part, the two hands together goes like this. Right hand starts with the E, C and A minor together. After A, F major by itself, G major by itself. Just like that. And that is the fourth part. One more time, it goes like this. Together. Here. Here. And that's it for the fourth part. Okay. So yeah, that's that. Alrighty, here we go. So, back to back, the four parts will be played like this. Check it out. Like that. You can hear the last two chords are like faster because they're passing chords. And that's it for the first section already, okay? So you just need to repeat this, okay? So, yeah, you can repeat it yourself, but that's that for the first section. The first section, you can repeat it as many times as you want, is the instrumental section that plays throughout the song. Okay, anyways, here we go. Let's move on to the other section, which is the chorus section, the Chatelet chorus section. Goes like this, okay. We're gonna break this up into, let me see, um... Okay, we'll break it up into two parts because actually it's not that hard. It's pretty simple, actually. Okay, here we go. It repeats itself, okay? So the first part goes like this. Starts on the E here, middle C, C, R, go up and off to, to this C, go up to the E. That's where we start on. So it goes E, D, C, E, D, C, E, D, 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 E, D. That's the Chatelet, Chatelet, that part, okay? So one more time. So it goes like this. It goes E, D, C, E, D, C, E, D, 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 E, D. And that's the right hand for this first part. Once you get that left hand, we have two chords here. The two chords are C major, which is C, E, G. And then the second chord is G major, which is G, B, D. Okay? So with these two chords in mind, so C major and G major, the two hands together goes like this, okay? So it goes E and C major together. D and G major together. Just like that, and that's the first part. One more time, so it goes like this, together. Together. Just like that, okay? So that's the first part. Let's move on to the second and last part of the section. Right hand goes F, E, D. F, E, D, F, E, and that's it. That's the right hand, pretty simple stuff. One more time, it goes F, E, D, F, E, D, F, E, and that's the right hand for the second part, okay? So once you get that left hand, we have four chords here for this um, second part. So the four chords are D minor is the first chord, D, F, A. The second chord is A minor, which is A, C, E. And then the third chord passes to the F major, F, A, C. And the fourth chord passes to the G major, G, B, D. It's kind of like the other section, okay? The passing F major and G major chord, okay? So yeah, with those four chords in mind, so D minor, A minor, F major, G major, the two hands together goes like this for the second part of the second section. F and D minor together, so together. E and A minor together. F major by itself. G major by itself, like that. And that's it. One more time, so it goes like this. Together. Together. Here. Here. And that's it for this section. Okay, so back to back, the two parts of this section is played like this. Pretty awesome stuff. Goes like that. Check it out. Pretty much it okay so after you get this melody and chord version very good very succinct very clear very even in terms of the melody notes and also the rhythm then you can apply this uh accompaniment pattern that's pretty simple uh to make it a bit more uh, i guess like i don't know how, how do you call it like a bit more uh pulsing okay so the main beats okay so here we go so for all the chords you want to just play the chord followed by the high two notes okay it's like dum, 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 like that so apply this pattern to all the chords and it'll just be sounding like this, check it out. So it's 
that's the main beat if you do it like that. So it's pretty awesome stuff. And then also the other sections, same thing. So. like that okay so there's a lot of variations you can do you can even like make it all awesome by adding more pages and stuff but, uh, something like this I'll make it up on the spot like this still exactly the same what I told you in this lesson melody and chords and everything else are just improvisations uh, patterns that you can learn okay so I teach all this stuff in my piano courses how to improvise how to uh, learn about music theory learn about all these like stuff that is important for you to actually uh, understand how songs really work if you really understand then you can really much play anything and make up any arrangement you want okay but anyway if you want to learn more about that go ahead check out my website bestpianomethod.com linked in the description below yeah, where you can check out all my piano courses and stuff, okay? But anyway, yeah, you learn a lot of stuff. Literally like thousands of hours of stuff like this, like how to play by ear, improvise, read sheet music, play and sing, music theory, etc. A lot of stuff, okay? But anyway, check it out. Also, on my channel, I have so many of these piano um, like content. So literally, uh, there's actually thousands and thousands and thousands and thousands of piano videos I've made on YouTube alone. So you can check it out, search up all the stuff, uh, that like search up a song and see if it's there or not. But anyway... That's pretty much it. Hope you enjoyed this lesson. Enjoy your time around my channel and see you next time. I'm glad you made it to the end of my video. Now you can visit my website to learn how to play this or any song you want through my methods explained through books and courses. Or just get me to make a full song video lesson or sheet music transcription on any song you want using my customized services. As for now, enjoy your time around my channel, subscribe and see you next time.